Hello friends, welcome to another interesting Python video. In this video, we are going to see how we can make checkerboard patterns in NumPy. Checkerboard pattern is something like the pattern on the chess board. So it has alternate zeros and ones. So if we replace this zero by one and this zero by one and in columns if we replace these zeros by one we'll start to get a checkerboard pattern so in other words if we look at the output of a checkerboard pattern it should look something like this alternate zeros and ones so how can we make this pattern in numpy and how can we extrapolate uh, this concept to make random checkerboard patterns make a checkerboard pattern we can make an array of all zeros using np dot zeros the size is 8 by 8 and the d type is int this will make an 8 by 8 all zeros matrix or array then we need to closely look at this indexing scheme now this indexing scheme says that you go from first row so we'll start with this row and we go to the end of the rows in step size of 2 so we start from first row then take a step of two then we select this one then we select this one and then we select this one so we can see that the first numbering scheme has selected this row this row this and this row okay let's go back to the columns so we are selecting columns from zero go to the end of the columns in step size of 2 so we're going to select the column number at index 0 then 2 4 and 6 so this is what it means so here we are going to have this selection this one this one this one and this one now just look at the points of intersection of these two selections the lines of rows and columns intersect at these points this 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 and four points here and few points here and then we have four points in the last row so all these are replaced by one so this is what the first line does and then what we do is we select rows going from 0 2 4 and 6 and we select columns going from 1 3 5 and 7 so intersection of these would result in I'll show that with black so the rows are, which are selected are 0 2 4 and 6 the columns which are selected are 1 3 5 and 7 so the points of intersection of these which are this one this one this one and this one are replaced by ones so in other words all the alternate uh, numbers are replaced by ones so that is how the checkerboard pattern is generated so if you look at this pattern now if we uh, change the values here like if we uh, scan every third row or every third column or if we scan rows in step size of four and if we scan columns in step size of four and we assign different values here instead of one we assign let us say one here and some other integer value here then we get random patterns or pseudo random patterns and that is what it 
is shown here so let's generate a number m ranging from 1 to 4 generate a number n ranging from 1 to 10 generating a number o ranging from 1 to 10 rest everything is the same we create an 8 by 8 all zeros array and then we take a step size of m which is randomly being generated either it is going to be 1 2 or 3 and we assign n value to these points and o value to these points so this is how this will look like so every time it is going to be a different so just look at this this is different from what we got earlier this is how the pattern looks like every time it is random all right and we can put it in a for loop to generate 10 random patterns and here what i do is i take I take different step size in first indexing and second indexing and different integer values in first and second indexing also. So that gives me more randomly generated patterns. So I can see these patterns uh, by passing the array to the method mat show of matplotlib. So just look at these patterns. These are all random patterns. So that is how you can generate pseudo random patterns in numpy and use them in image processing and alternatively you could use np.ones also by initially creating an array of all ones instead of creating an array of all zeros and then you would have replaced this with zeros to make a checkerboard pattern and to randomize that checkerboard pattern you simply need to change these two values you can put some value here and another value here and you could fit it around with the step size also so i hope this quick video was of help and it was interesting if you like the video give it a thumbs up i'll see you around take care bye bye